Well, we're here today with Jennifer Song, PXG Apparel Ambassador and LPGA Tour Player. Welcome, Jennifer. Great to have you here today. Thank you, Renee. It's great being here. Now, uh, we're talking about International Women's Day, which is March 8th. PXG likes to really celebrate women and women in golf. And we know that golf is traditionally a male-dominated sport, or has been. And we're always looking to um, increase the visibility of our women uh, that play for PXG and women in general that yes. love golf because golf is for everybody in all levels. I think you and I have played together, so you've seen. I'm you know, not on your level, but <laughs> we can still have fun together. That's what's so great about golf. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, through your golfing career, can you Tell us a little bit about some of the obstacles or possibly bias that you've encountered throughout the years. To be honest, I think I've witnessed so many biases. This is my 12th year on tour. Unfortunately, we've always been faced with a difficulty where we're not promoted enough. The TV networks are always more focused on the men's game more than the women's game. But I'm so thankful that you're so supportive of the women's side. I'm very appreciative of that. We're valued more on our looks than our performance. Obviously, we're playing the same sports, but I feel like people always view the aesthetic side of us more than our game. Mm -hmm. I would agree, yeah. It's unfortunate that that's the way that it's been, and I love watching you play. I love watching the LPGA and all of the women play, I think it's just as exciting, if not more so than watching the men. You can make heroic shots, you have you know, a, a great game, you have beautiful swings, and it's just a lot of fun to watch. It would actually make more sense if they didn't necessarily run the PGA and the LPGA over the same days of the week. The women would get a lot more viewership, it would be nice to to see them move that around a little bit. I agree. Uh, I think if we're given the proper dates and the proper platform, we'll be able to connect with a lot of different fan base. And I think that's very important for us so that mm -hmm. we could really showcase our game. Definitely. What are some of the other challenges that you feel women face in sport and also in business? As an athlete, I'm trying to promote my brand and mm -hmm. who I am as a person. And in the process of it, let's say if I post a picture about my brand, they're more focused on my skin or mm -hmm. the way I look or uh, a lot of derogatory messages. All I'm trying to do is promote the game of golf, mm -hmm. but they don't really focus mm -hmm. on that. So it's very unfortunate. Right. It is. You have this element that just is super negative and um, they just want to make negative comments. Mm -hmm. and really with no value at all to yes. it. So how do you handle that? So over time, I think I've learned to just ignore them mm -hmm. and yeah. just focus on the people around me mm -hmm. who really cares for me, mm -hmm. uh, my family, my friends, yes. my uh, supportive team. Yes. And I just keep trying to tap myself into those areas and not the exactly. negative side of it. Exactly. I think that's great. That is so important and you're yeah. so lucky that you do have a great support system and a great family and friends. I think that's key. The people that are making those comments don't know you. Mm -hmm. They're perfect strangers. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. And you know, at the end of the day, I just understand that I can't please everyone. Right. Even though I may be doing something right, someone mm -hmm. might feel negative about it. So I just can't help it. I guess you yeah. just got to embrace everything. Exactly. Yeah. You just have to live your life and be true to yourself. Mm -hmm. That's the most important thing mm -hmm. is that you just stay positive and stay confident and do your thing and not let anybody else bring you down. Yep. How are you committing to breaking the bias in 2022? Any ideas or thoughts that you have for that this year? I need to be true to myself mm -hmm. and I think I just need to be passionate about what I do, keep that drive and mm -hmm. just be myself out there mm -hmm. and all of the individuals, we need to try our best to represent ourselves properly mm -hmm. and I think that's the only way we can be successful. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, and I think you do such a beautiful job of that. You're you're always so poised uh, out there when you're speaking publicly and on your social media and on tour and playing the game of golf. So you're such a beautiful representative of the golf game and for PXG, of course. Thank you. So we're so happy that you are on our team representing uh, women in golf and PXG, of course. So thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's my pleasure.